What's that, Daddy? I'm preparing a list of things I want to do today. Hmm. What things? I'm going to the store with Rosie. Would you like to come, Caillou? No, I want to stay with Daddy. Thank you. I want coffee, too. Hmm. Hmm. Coffee is a bit strong for you, Caillou. But here is your very own cup. You can pretend it's coffee. Thank you, Mommy. Caillou loved doing the same thing as his daddy. Uh-oh, look at the time. I better get started. Daddy! Hang on, let me see the list for a second. Hmm, fix this and that. Ah, and let's add make lunch. There. Now you can give this list to Daddy, Caillou. Okay. Bye! Bye, honey. We'll be back soon. All right. Ah! No, Gilbert! Aw! Give me that back! Oh! Here, Gilbert! Ugh. Everything all right down there? Caillou thought his daddy's face looked very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on my face, Daddy. Go and get your steps. Uh. Okay, now what, Daddy? <laughs> that tickles. I look funny. Okay, now what, Daddy? You can use this to wipe the foam off. Shaving too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hey, are you copying me? <laughs> Gilbert, no! Hey there, Mr. In a Hurry. You need to clean your face first. But Gilbert took. Don't worry, you can get whatever it is later. But his mommy had asked Caillou to give the list to his daddy. Just what we need. See this? I think your piece will fit just right. We'll glue it back on. Can I do it? Squeeze gently. Huh? Caillou was very proud to be helping his daddy. Bless you. Uh, uh, you. <sighs> this chair is dirty. We better clean it. <laughs> and clean your nose too, Daddy. I think it will look good right here. It will look good right here. Great job, Caillou. I fixed the chair, Gilbert. I think I'll take a little newspaper break. Okay, Caillou? Caillou liked doing the same thing as his daddy. I'm taking a break too, Daddy. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready to go back to work? Yes. Then follow me. <laughs> I see you. What is it? It's a washer. It goes in here. A washer goes here. Great job, Caillou. We'll have this box sorted in no time. Caillou was proud of helping his daddy. Hello, we're back. Mommy! In here! Caillou! Caillou! Daddy! 
Sorry, Rosie. This is a job for Caillou and me. I'm helping Daddy. Hello there. Hmm, what have you cooked us for lunch? Nuts and bolt soup? Lunch? <laughs> Gilbert! Just a minute, Caillou. Rosie is trying to do something. Daddy! Rosie is trying to help us. Daddy, look! Thank you, Caillou. Let's see. We did this and that and... Hey, making lunch wasn't on there this morning. <laughs> nope, I added it. Okay, now everyone gets to make lunch. This nice slice of tomato. Caillou really liked doing the same thing as his daddy. A nice tomato for mommy. But he liked helping his mommy too. Thank you, Caillou. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Daddy, where are my cards? Maybe Rosie is playing with them. There's one. The lion. Here, let me fix your box. Caillou was Aww. disappointed. He wanted to play with the cards. Are you looking for your cards? I know where you could find the whale. You do, Mommy? I saw it in the bathroom. The search was exciting. Where could the whale card be? Yay! I found it! cock a doodle doo <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Rosie, uh, it's mine. Caillou did not want to hand over the box of cards to Rosie. He was playing with it. Caillou! What's going on? It's my turn to play with the cards. It looks like there are a lot of cards still missing. I can go find them. And maybe Rosie can join you on your safari. Yay! What's a safari? When you are on a safari, you look around very carefully to spot animals. Caillou loved the idea. He decided to pretend the missing cards were all real animals to find. Come on, Rosie. Let's go on a safari. Look, a snake. Caillou and Rosie kept their eyes open. Where were the animals going to show up next? Caillou! <laughs> they liked pretending to be the animals they found. A crocodile! Roar! <laughs> Caillou liked crocodiles because they were big and strong. Dinner is ready, you two! But Caillou and Rosie wanted to continue their safari. Come on, Caillou. You can play some more later. I'm not Caillou. I'm a crocodile. Really? 
Well, that's too bad, because Caillou will miss one of his favorite foods. Hamburgers. <gasps> hamburgers? Uh, look, Daddy, it's really me. Cowboy Caillou. Giddy up, horsey. Faster. Whoa there, Caillou. <laughs> Daddy. You know, my friend Jonas lives on a ranch with lots of horses. Would you like to meet him? Is he a cowboy? He sure is. I want to go. Okay, first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, boy. Meeting a real cowboy sounded so exciting that Caillou could hardly wait for tomorrow. I'll go find Jonas. Here, Caillou, take these carrot sticks. You might want them later. Caillou wasn't interested in the carrots. All he could think about was meeting a cowboy. Caillou, this is my friend, Jonas. Hi. Hi there, partner. Would you like a tour of the ranch? Yes, please. Caillou had never seen a real cowboy before. He was very impressed. Why, thank you, little lady. <laughs> oh. I think Rosie would rather look for flowers. We'll leave you cowboys to your business. Have you ever seen a lasso before, Caillou? Wow! Caillou was amazed by the tricks Jonas could do. Uh, gotcha! Good thing we caught that tree stump before it got away. <laughs> Look, Caillou! That's a big horse, Daddy. <laughs> That's a pony. Horses are even bigger. I'll bring one out from the stable. Caillou couldn't imagine how much bigger a horse could be. Look out, it's raining hay. <laughs> 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 Daddy! The sound of the horse startled Caillou. Uh, maybe he doesn't want us playing with his food. Really? <laughs> no, Caillou. Only joking. couldn't believe how big the horse was. He felt a little scared. Caillou, this is lucky. Come on, we'll meet him together. Hi, Lucky. I think he likes you. What's this? Carrots! You know, Lucky loves carrots. Do you want to give him some? Yes. Carrots, too. A cowboy's number one job is to take care of his horse. Ow! It's prickly. That's because it's especially made for horse hair. Ah! Good work. Let's check his shoes. Shoes? Caillou thought it was funny that horses wore shoes, too. Sometimes they need to wear them. I keep a few extra pairs over there if you want to take a look. Caillou decided
decided he liked his shoes better. Hear that? Caillou pretended he was riding a horse. Faster, horsey! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> that gives me an idea, partner. I'll be right back with a surprise. Why don't we find Mommy and Rosie so they can see the surprise, too? Hmm. I wonder where Rosie is. She was here a minute ago. I thought you'd like to go for a ride, Caillou. Hang on, Caillou. Come on, Rosie. No, horsey. Don't be scared, Rosie. Lucky is a nice horse. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Lucky. And we're off. Caillou thought Lucky was very strong to be able to pull everyone. Would you like to drive, Caillou? Okay. Caillou was a little nervous, but he really wanted to try driving the wagon. I'm driving, Daddy. Now you look like a real cowboy. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hope you had a good time. Here's a souvenir. Bye, partner. Bye, partner. Bye, bye, Lucky. <laughs> wow, horsey. Now you can have some carrots. Nay. <laughs> Odd. The jackets are giggling. Shh. I'm hiding, Mommy. Caillou! Caillou, I found you! I found you! <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Caillou thought it was unfair that Rosie had found him. I didn't tell where you were hiding, sweetie. I came here to take my jacket. Look who I found hiding under the kitchen table. Rosie must know that it's her nap time. Mommy? I'm going to the grocery store. Would you like to come with me? Caillou loved going grocery shopping with his mommy. I'll bring something back, Rosie. That was very sweet of you, Caillou. Caillou remembered that he had lots of money in his piggy bank. Caillou, I just got Rosie to sleep. I thought you were going to the store with Mommy. I am, but Mommy said that we needed money. There you are. Are we ready to go? Look, Mommy, I have money. You better put yours in your pocket so you don't lose it. No, Mommy. Caillou felt that he was much too big to ride in the grocery cart. He much preferred having his very own cart to push around and to fill up. Whoa, sweetie, slow down. I have a list of things we need to buy. Why don't you help me find some of them, okay? Let's start with some fruit. Caillou was good at finding things in the grocery store. It was like a hide-and-seek game. Only you had to find food. Good work, Caillou. You found the apples. I'll get a bag to put them in. I want to do it. Here, let me show you. Caillou really liked how the girl's face was all made up with sparkles and swirls. He wanted to have his face painted, too. You can get it done, too. There's a lady that does face painting over there. You better ask your mom first, because it costs money. Mommy, Mommy, can I have that done, too? I have money. Look, can I please? Caillou was happy to have his face Thanks. painted, and he was proud to be paying with his very own money. Beep. 
Here's your change. Have a nice day. This can be for Rosie. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie played a new game of hide and seek. But this time, Rosie was the one that was easy to find. <laughs> can you guess why? Caillou's canoe trip. Caillou was on a very special wilderness adventure with Grandpa and Daddy. They were going to sleep over one night in a log cabin. I used to take your dad here when he was a boy, just like you. The cabin is like a small house. It's all made of wood. Where is it? We still have a way to go before you can see it. Ah, this way. And keep your eyes and ears open. There are lots of surprises in nature. It didn't take long before Caillou spotted his first surprise. Daddy, look! It's gone! That's how the snail protects itself. Maybe he was scared of you. Everything's exactly how I remember it. A boat! Not just any boat. This is a canoe and it's going to take us across the lake to the log cabin on the other side. Caillou suddenly felt far away from home. He wished that his mommy was here with him, too. I don't want to go. It's okay to be worried, Caillou. New adventures can be frightening at first, but they can also be lots of fun, and we're here with you. And you get your very own life jacket, just like us. See? But Caillou was still missing his mommy. Oh, Rexy! Mm hmm Here you go, Caillou. Thanks! You know what? I think I have an idea. See? We can take pictures. You'll be able to show Mommy and Rosie all about our adventure. Want to try? Tell me when you see something you want to take a picture of, okay? Taking pictures was fun. This made Caillou feel more excited about the trip. <laughs> Ready to go now? Is my little lookout ready? Let me know if you want me to take a picture of something. Caillou liked being a lookout. He even got Rexy to help too. Caillou thought it was beautiful. It's a dragonfly. A dragonfly. Wow. Look, Rexy. It went over there. Can we go too? Certainly, Captain. To the bulrushes we go. You can touch it, Caillou. The spike of the bulrush is very soft. Yes. Look! Caillou had never seen such a big, beautiful bird up close before. <gasps> We're in luck. That's a blue heron. Did you see that? Yeah! <laughs> Well, let's get going. We're almost there. Oh, boy, look at that. Where? Oh, Rexy! Don't move, Caillou. I'll get him. What a scare. Caillou was very happy and relieved that Rexy had been saved. Aha. I think I know who made the splash. This was gnawed by a beaver. See this pointy end? But where is the beaver now? Look at that! 
Let's get in closer. Maybe we'll be lucky and spot some beavers. Okay. Where's the beaver? That's the beaver's house. It's called a lodge. Where's the door? The door is underneath. The beavers have to swim underwater to get inside. Daddy! Grandpa! Is that a beaver? Sure is. Wow! He must be in his lodge by now. Time to go. The heat of the fire felt warm and cozy. Caillou was sure his wet dinosaur liked it, too. What's that sound? Crickets. The cricket song was very soothing, and soon Caillou was feeling sleepy. Maybe it's time we put you to bed. No. Uh, I'm not tired. Good, because the best is yet to come. Roasting marshmallows was my very favorite thing when I came here as a boy. Me too. Caillou liked to watch the marshmallow changing color. Mmm. Let's make another one for Grandpa. And for Rexy. Mommy likes them too. Rosie. This had been such an exciting day. The Caillou fell asleep before getting to his bed, his head filled with wonderful images of beavers, bulrush, dragonflies, and marshmallows. And Daddy carried me to bed after the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that. You saw a heron. Look, Mommy. <laughs> I sent you a kiss. Caillou and the Bulldozer. You'll see in just a second. There's a hole in the fence for looking through. I can't see. Pick me up. Please? Please, Mommy. Wow! A bulldozer! The powerful bulldozer was fascinating for Caillou. It must have been very strong to move all that dirt. When I grow up, I'm going to drive a big bulldozer. Then I can watch you through the hole in the fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to go home now, honey. Daddy's waiting for us. Caillou didn't want to leave. No, Mommy. I want to watch some more. Okay, Caillou. Put on your seatbelt. Airplane coming in for a landing. <clears throat> I'm a flying bulldozer. Are you bulldozing the clouds? Wait for me, Mr. Bulldozer! Hi, Caillou. I'm not Caillou. I'm a bulldozer! Caillou figured out how he could turn himself into a real bulldozer. Yeah! Hey, look, Rosie. Caillou's a bulldozer. Bulldozer! <laughs> Caillou was so involved in being a bulldozer, he didn't think of anything else. And not everyone liked it. Look, Caillou! Caillou thought that Rosie wanted to play bulldozer, too. Caillou didn't realize that Rosie just wanted to show him her nice tower. No, Caillou! Look, Rosie. Bulldozers can help build, too. Brrr. 
Soon Rosie was building her tower again, and Caillou the bulldozer wanted to find another job to do. Thank you. I'm going out in the yard to rake the leaves. I could sure use a bulldozer to help. Want to come? Yes! A job for a bulldozer? Caillou was thrilled. He couldn't wait to get started. Good work, Caillou. Thanks! Wow, looks like you're almost done. Caillou was happy. This was a perfect job for a bulldozer. And there was plenty to do. <laughs> Caillou the firefighter. that loud sound? Caillou wanted to find out. Daddy, it smells stinky in here. I know. My toast burned and set off the fire alarm. The idea of a fire was scary to Caillou. He was worried. A fire? We were very lucky. It was only a little one. It's out now. Hmm. I think we should get Mommy and Rosie to practice a fire drill. That way, we'll all know what to do if the fire alarm goes off again. A fire drill sounded exciting and important. Caillou wanted to do it. I'll get Mommy and Rosie. Firefighters were there to help when there was a fire. Ooh. Gilbert, I'm a fireman! Ah. Come back! Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're going to have a fire drill. First, let's listen to the alarm again to recognize it. Good idea. I want to do it. Please. Daddy explained that when the fire alarm goes off, the first thing to do is to get out of the house as quickly as possible. Got it? Ready to try? Remember, if there is ever a fire, once you're outside, do not go back in the house. Right? Right. Okay, now we make sure everybody is here. Then we call the fire department from a neighbor's house. Caillou decided to pretend he was a firefighter coming to help. <coughs> Caillou imagined the flowers were on fire. He loved playing his firefighting game. And a great one, too. <laughs> hey, watch where that water goes, Mr. Firefighter. <laughs> Caillou and his family finished their first fire drill. <laughs> Caillou the timekeeper. We're all set for our picnic. Let's go, Mommy. Not yet, Caillou. We'll go later. I have things to do before we leave. Caillou wanted to go on the picnic right away. He did not understand why his Mommy wanted to wait. Can we go on our picnic now, Daddy? Now? But it isn't lunchtime yet. When's lunchtime? By the time I finish doing the laundry, it will be lunchtime. Yes, 
See, there's a button missing. We'll find a new one and you'll have your jacket for the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> you said picnic. Is it lunchtime, Mommy? No, Caillou. Not yet. Aww. Daddy! <laughs> Caillou, you surprised me. Are you finished? Can we go? You know, time occasionally feels like it's going by very slowly. Hey, how would you like to be a timekeeper? You could be the one who tells us when it's time to go. Really? I have just the thing. When the big hand and the little hand are both pointing to number 12, it'll be lunchtime. And I'm going to set the clock so that the alarm rings at lunchtime, just like this. Ah! Thank you, Daddy. Caillou was having a lot of fun with the alarm clock. He was very proud of his timekeeper job. It's not time yet. Me too. No, Rosie. Daddy had given the clock to him. He didn't want to let Rosie play with it. My clock! Rosie, did you take it? Caillou no. could not believe it. His timekeeper clock had disappeared. <laughs> My timekeeper clock is gone. Do you know where the clock is, Rosie? No. Hmm, it must be around here somewhere. Let's look. Caillou has lost his clock. It's not here. Could it be in here? Nope. <laughs> Try to cheer up, Caillou. We'll have a great picnic. And maybe we'll find the clock later. No. I don't want to go. I want my timekeeper's clock. My clock! It's lunchtime! Now we can go on the picnic! That's me. I'm Caillou. I'm four years old. And there's lots I can do. I can make things with my daddy. I know how to make my teddy bear all better. I even read stories to my grandma. But what I'm best at is having fun. <laughs> Elephants. elephants today at the zoo. I love elephants. Let's get ready. We'll pick up Daddy from work on the way home. Ready? Okay. Caillou was very excited about going to the zoo. He wanted to show Rosie all about elephants. They were his favorite. All the animals seemed to be talking at the same time. What was that? I think I know. I'll give you a clue. It's got feathers. A bird? Mm-hmm. A parrot. Caillou thought the parrot was beautiful. But his mind was set on seeing the elephants. Elephants! Which way should we go? This way. That's right. This way. You like them? <laughs> the monkeys were really funny, but Caillou wanted to go on to see the big elephants. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's a hippopotamus. The hippopotamus was very impressive. It was quite a big animal. Wow, he's big, but the elephant 
elephants are even bigger. Let's go. Would you like to have a piggyback ride to go see the elephants? Wow! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. He was finally seeing the elephants, and he was very, very happy. Elephants! Caillou had a good long look at the elephants. He thought they were the biggest animals he had ever seen. So big! You like them, Rosie? It's a baby elephant with a daddy elephant. He's so strong! The baby is eating! The daddy elephant is coming closer. <laughs> He's having a bath! <laughs> He's waving! He's saying hello! Wow! and the sheep. Are you ready to go? Shh. Mommy is trying to get some rest in the living room. Shh. Mommy has a cold. And while she rests, we're going to go visit a special friend of mine. Caillou loved going on adventures with Grandma. There were always so many surprises. Bye, Caillou. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye, Rosie. What's that? Sheep? Wow, Grandma, sheep, look. Caillou was very excited. He had never seen sheep that close before. It's eating grass! <laughs> oh! It's only saying hello, dear. He uh, hello? <laughs> hello there. Hello, Emma. Caillou wanted to stay with the sheep, but he knew that he had to follow Grandma. Emma, it's so good to see you. And who is this handsome young man? This is my grandson, Caillou. Emma owns this farm. Caillou was a little shy with Emma, but he was completely fascinated by everything around him. A sheep! Come on in, and I'll show you all the wonderful things we do with the wool from the sheep we have on the farm. could not believe his eyes. There was a rainbow of beautiful colors. And this couldn't be Mary, could it? Look at you, all grown up. Oh, oh. I got it. Thanks. Caillou had never seen a spinning wheel before. He wasn't sure what it could be used for. We use the spinning wheel to spin wool into yarn. It's been around for a long time. Why, it used to belong to my grandmother, Caillou. I use it in the shop as a decoration, but it still works. Do you want to touch it? It's wool from the sheep. The wool felt very soft to Caillou. Here, I'll show you how it's done. You have to stretch it. Mary, can you give me a hand? Sure. Caillou thought it was pretty neat that the wool began turning into yarn. It was almost like magic. Wow! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> do you want to go see the sheep with me? And that was exactly what Caillou wanted to do. Go ahead, Caillou. Yeah! We'll have some tea and chat. Uh... 
Caillou thought the sheep looked very funny. It was much skinnier than the other sheep. Where did its wool go? Why is it like that? Dad probably just sheared him. Come and see. Mary, wait! Caillou couldn't believe what he was seeing. The man was taking the wool right off the sheep's back. Dad really concentrates when he shears sheep. I bet he won't even notice us. Is this sheep cold? Oh, no. And his wool will go back. Come on, I want to show you something else. What? It's a surprise. Caillou was curious to see what would come next. Is this wool? Yes, it is. Wow! Oh no, he got out of his box again. Caillou was a little scared. Come on now, back in your box. This sheep was much smaller than the other sheep. It looked like a baby. And it did not seem to want to listen to Mary at all. <laughs> Is he a baby? Yup. We call a baby sheep a lamb. And lambs love milk, like all babies do. The lamb's wool seemed even softer than the other wool he had touched before. Caillou really liked the lamb. Now let's try to get him back into his box. Do you want to hold the bottle? Okay. You just have to back up. The lamb will follow you. I'll open the door. Okay, Caillou, you can come out now. Sorry, no more. Thanks, Caillou. Caillou was very proud to have helped. We had a great time, Emma. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have to do this more often. Oh, definitely. Where's Mary? Mary? Here you go, Caillou. It's for you. Caillou? Thank you. Look, Daddy. Shh. Mom is sleeping in the living room. Shh. Look, Daddy. I got a sheep. And Rosie gets a sheep, too. Me, too. <laughs> Caillou decided that his sheep would be good company and help Mommy sleep better. A doghouse. A doghouse? Hello, Mr. Hinkle. Hello. Glad you could come and help. And hello to you too, Caillou. Where's the doggy? Caillou? Hello, Mr. Hinkle. They're not one but three dogs. Two puppies and a mommy. <laughs> Listen, that's one of them. <laughs> it's a puppy. One. Two, three. <laughs> Want to play with them, Caillou? Caillou was excited to play with the puppies. He liked them very much. But sometimes he felt nervous playing with dogs. That's a good girl, Mimi. Come on, here, girl. She's the mommy. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> she likes you. I didn't know you were opening a kennel, Mr. Hinkle. <laughs> I'm looking after the dogs for a friend who's moving to a new home. The doghouse is a surprise for him. <laughs> Caillou was still a little nervous, but he liked the puppies very much. They were so full of energy. Hello! <laughs> They're very excited to play with you. Oh, where'd the spotted puppy go, Mr. Hinkle? He can't be far. I bet he's hiding. I'll 
go and find him. Have fun. Here, puppy. Caillou had so much fun playing with one puppy that he almost forgot to look for the other one. <laughs> then he remembered. Where's your spotted puppy? <laughs> That's not a puppy. That's a ball. Puppy! I can't find the spotted puppy, Mr. Hinkle. Don't worry. Their mommy keeps a careful eye on them. He's probably still playing his game. I hear him. Puppy! Puppy was playing hide and seek. Caillou loved this game. Where's the puppy? He ran over here. I didn't see him. We'll just put this roof on and then we'll have a little look. There he is. <laughs> there, all done. I hope the dogs like it. Come here, Mimi. Come on, puppies. Do you like it? It's a great house. I love it. <laughs> I think they like the house. Mr. Hinkle, they're going to sleep. Shh. I think they like you, too. <laughs> the Duck Family. Okay, Caillou, one more time. It's too far. Hold on, Caillou, wait for me. Don't worry, we'll get it back somehow. Ducks! It looks like they're having a family picnic, too. Caillou loved watching the duck family. It sounds like they're laughing. <laughs> what are they doing? They're probably looking for something to eat under the water. Caillou couldn't imagine how ducks found food underwater. They're hiding? No, look, they're coming back. One's missing. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Caillou was having fun playing hide-and-seek with the ducks. Daddy, look! I think we scared them. Caillou was sorry they had scared the ducks. He wanted to keep watching them. I have an idea. Come on. Now I'll show you how to speak like a duck. Ready? Quack! Quack! Caillou thought ducks spoke a very strange language, but he decided to give it a try. Quack! Quack! <laughs> Look, Daddy! They're coming! That's the father duck. See his colorful feathers? Caillou wanted the whole family to come out of the water. Quack! 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 quack. was thrilled to be so close to such a tiny duckling. Hi, little duck. Why are they leaving? The mother duck is just making sure her ducklings don't get lost. Caillou! <laughs> Come on, let's go see your mother duck. Whoa! You found it! Caillou had been having so much fun with the ducks that he'd completely forgotten about his ball. If I were a duck, I could swim over there to get it. Great Yay! job! I'll carry it. Caillou! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we better get you home and cleaned up. I don't want to take a bath. But there's someone waiting for you in the tub. Quack! 
Clementine's new pet. Caillou! That was Clementine on the phone. She just got a new pet and we're invited to go see it. Wanna go? Uh-huh. Caillou could not wait to play with Clementine's pet. I know Clementine didn't get a cat. Can you guess what she got? Caillou's own pet was Gilbert, a cat. What else could a pet be? A dog? True, a dog can be a pet, but that's not it. Try again. Look, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Maybe Clementine got a squirrel? Nope. Squirrels are wild animals. They live outside. Let's see. I'll give you a hint. Clementine's pet is orange. What could be orange, thought Caillou? A dinosaur! Oh, my! That would be something. I guess you'll soon find out. Hello! Hello. Please, come in. Come see! He makes bubbles. <laughs> what kind of an animal could blow bubbles, Caillou wondered? A fish! What does he eat? I like hot dogs and cookies. Here you go, sweetie. Now just a little bit, okay? He eats fish food. See? Take a tiny pinch and drop it on the water. Wow! My little fish will get too warm if he keeps his jacket on. Okay. Thank you, Caillou. Do you want to play? Hi, fishy! His name is Goldie, because he's a goldfish. <laughs> the fish seemed to stop a moment to say hello. Caillou was delighted. Goldfish, goldfish, <laughs> Goldie the goldfish. Anyone for a snack? Goldie the goldfish. I can eat like Goldie. Draw, Goldie! It's for you! Thank you! It's beautiful! Caillou will be leaving soon, all right? Caillou did not want to go just yet. He had a surprise in mind. Caillou was happy. Goldie was looking at his picture. Mommy was ready to go back home. Here, it's for Goldie. Bye, Clementine! Clementine has a goldfish named Goldie, and he liked my drawing. Goldie is not the only <laughs> one who likes it. Hey, Gilbert! <laughs> it's Mommy's drawing! Mommy! <laughs> Mommy is great! She takes me to fun places like the beach. Mommy says it's fun to try new things. <laughs> she likes it when I draw her pictures. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. And I like it when she tucks me in at night. Do, do, do.